everything you didn't know about Mr. Bean. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Screeny. It's been decades since we were introduced to Mr. Bean for the first time, but this mumbling buffoon still holds a very special place in our heart. His inability to grasp basic aspects of the way the world works always made us laugh and helped us feel a little bit better about ourselves. Mr. Bean's humor resonated with people around the world because he wasn't a man of many words. He didn't need to say anything to make us crack a smile, and watching him make a complete fool of himself was always more than enough. The fact he barely said a word made him even more fun, but it's finally time to unpack the mystery. Let's take a look at everything you didn't know about Mr. Bean. Don't forget to press the subscribe button if you want to find out more about the TV shows you know and love. Number 10. Secret Alien One of the most popular fan theories connected to this show suggests Mr. Bean is actually an extraterrestrial. The opening theme of the series is one of the most important clues. During the first few episodes, the opening sequence featured Mr. Bean falling from the sky in a beam of light. The scene was black and white in the beginning because the producers wanted to show an ordinary man cast into the spotlight. But it seems they changed their mind after a while. Later episodes featured Mr. Bean dropping from the night sky in a deserted London street, and this strange visual gave cause for speculation. Rowan Atkinson admitted that his oddball character has a slightly alien aspect to him, and said he considered addressing this theory in the final episode. Writers had an idea to show Mr. Bean spotting a spaceship landing in a field and walking inside only to encounter 25 aliens who are carbon copies of himself. Atkinson and fellow writer Rob and Driscoll dismissed this idea, but that didn't stop the showrunners of the animated series from confirming Bean's alien nature. Number 9. Naming the character. It's hard to imagine Mr. Bean having any other name, but things could have gone in a different direction. During early production, a variety of names for the character have been thrown around, and Mr. White was the first choice. Producers came to the conclusion they need something more original and offbeat, and moved to the names based on vegetables and other plant life. Fortunately, they came to terms with the fact that Mr. Carrot and Mr. Cauliflower aren't exactly the best idea so they settled for Mr. Bean instead. Producers even found a perfect theme song to fit the name they picked for the character. The words heard during the title sequences are in Latin and translate to Behold the Man Who Is Bean. Farewell, the man who is a bean. There's been a lot of mystery surrounding the character's first name, but several shots of his driver's license and passport in the live animated series and spin-off movies gave us all the answer we needed. The first name slot in his legal documents, which contain nothing more but the word Mr. Number 8. Rule Breaker Mr. Bean may look like the least harmless person in the world at first sight, but that's far from the truth. He just happens happens to be a real rule breaker, and has a pretty lengthy criminal record to show for it. To be fair, his clumsiness and eccentric behavior were the ones to get him in trouble, but that doesn't change the fact that he broke the law on several occasions. Some of his misdemeanors include headbutting the queen, blowing up a car, vandalizing hotel property, and wandering around the corridors naked. The craziest part is that Mr. Bean never got arrested for either of these crimes, and managed to get away without a mark on his criminal record. Record. Rowan Atkinson described him as a natural anarchist, but that's only one side of him. The actor believes Bean is actually a very self-contained and self-centered character, and that's the reason why there's no need to have another person in the scene to make him funny. Number 7. The Star is Born The role of Mr. Bean transformed Rowan Atkinson into one of the most recognizable comedians in the world, but it was never his plan to follow this career path. The actor was actually studying for his master's degree in electrical engineering at Oxford University when he created this iconic character. He was a member of the infamous comedy group The Oxford Review, but writing wasn't his strongest suit. 
Atkinson was in a bit of a pickle after he had to come up with a sketch for a one-night show at the Oxford Playhouse. He only had 48 hours to accomplish this task and had no idea where to stop from, and had no idea where to start from. That was when he stood in front of the mirror, started to mess around with his face, and invented this strange, surreal, non-speaking persona. He did the first sketch as being in the early 80s, but didn't go back to playing him until many years later. His creative partner Richard Curtis helped him develop the character, while the two were working on the set of Not the Nine O'Clock News. Number 6. Finding Inspiration If you think Rowan Atkinson could have been a superstar during the early days of silent film, you're probably right. The style of comedy we witnessed in Mr. Bean is very similar, since the performer purely relies on physical comedy and speaks very little dialogue. Atkinson developed interest in this type of comedy after discovering a little movie called Mr. Hulot's Holiday by Jacques Tati, the legend of French silent cinema. He served as the main inspiration for the character that made Atkinson an overnight sensation. His comedic style just struck a chord with the actor, who admired Tati because he had an uncompromising comic attitude. Number 5. Testing the Waters Atkinson made one of his earliest appearances as Mr. Bean at the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival in Montreal all the way back in 1987. He surprised program coordinators by asking them to perform for a French-speaking audience. They didn't understand his strange request because Atkinson didn't speak a word of French, but allowed him to proceed and removed his name from the English-speaking part of the program. The coordinators probably thought his performance is going to turn into a total train wreck, but it was actually an extremely smart move on Atkinson's side. It turned out he wanted to perform on the French bill so he could check out if Mr. Bean's physical comedy plays well on an international stage with a non-English speaking audience. He used Just for Laughs as a test platform, and the crowd went so crazy for this silent oddball that he decided to develop a whole show around him. Number 4. Art Imitates Life A lot of comedians tend to incorporate some of their own little quirks into the characters they're playing, and Rowan Atkinson is no exception. He decided to give acting a try as a way of overcoming his stutter, but it was never completely gone. The man behind Mr. Bean has a bit of trouble pronouncing words starting with B, including the last name of his most beloved character. The stutter isn't the only trait Atkinson has in common with his on-screen alter ego. Bean's ear wiggle is one of his most significant your quirks, and it turns out it's not CGI. It's just another thing this amazing physical actor can pull off on his own. Number 3. Atkinson Wanted Out Rowan Atkinson made a name for himself by playing the clumsy man-child, but the gimmick got old after a while. A majority of his commercially successful projects have been based on physical and childish type humor, but the actor decided he wants to do less roles like that in the future. That's easier said than done, though, because the huge success of Mr. Bean set him back artistically. He was typecast to some degree because the audience got used to him playing a bumbling buffoon and wanted him to do it over and over again. Atkinson didn't feel the same way to say the least. He believed it's a little bit sad to watch a middle-aged man acting childlike all the time. His physical abilities also started declining, and the humor present in Mr. Bean completely relied on them. Does that mean this actor won't ever play this beloved character again? Well, not exactly. Atkinson said he'd never finally wave goodbye to any character, including Mr. Bean. But that doesn't mean he's ready to put on that tweed jacket and skinny red tie anytime soon. Number 2. Episode Dynamics Viewers outside of the UK find it very surprising that one of the most popular shows from this country only has 14 episodes. But that's actually nothing unusual. A majority of sitcoms in this country have no more than 6 episodes per season, and they end up running after their course. British showrunners prefer moving to the next big thing instead of returning to the same old characters over and over again. And that's part of the reason why Mr. Bean went off air so quickly. Even while it was still around, this series didn't work in the way we're used to. New episodes were few and far between, and the fans had to wait months to finally see them. That's why only 14 episodes aired over the course of five years. But Mr. Bean's adventures didn't end once the live-action series was cancelled. The character returned for two movies, an animated series, several commercials, music videos, and one-off sketches. He even made an appearance during the Summer Olympics opening ceremony in 2012. Number 1. 
Worldwide sensation. Mr. Bean has done an amazing job connecting to the international audience because it focuses on visual jokes as opposed to verbal humor. Physical comedy in this series is very universal and its essence was never lost in translation. The show became so popular that it ended up being broadcasted in 245 territories worldwide. Atkinson was fortunate enough to visit some of them and witness the joy people experienced while watching Mr. Bean's shenanigans. The actor believes there's no country in the world where people don't seem to understand and enjoy his most iconic character. Atkinson believes his crazy adventures resonate with everyone because he's basically a child trapped inside a man's body. Whatever the reason may be, Mr. Bean won over the heart of millions, especially in East Asia. Many boys in this region adopted the name Rowan as a way of honoring the man behind their favorite TV character. Mr. Bean has also been shown by more than 50 airlines. Long international flights certainly seem much shorter when you get to watch Rowan Atkinson doing his thing. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.